So last year it is the pattern. This year also we are expecting same. Uh, so far no updates from the company. We are expecting the same test pattern like last year, where we have seven sections and starts with plus section reasoning, where we have 15 questions, 15 marks, 25 minutes. See the advantage right now total time duration if we calculate 120 minutes, two hours, two years before. The test is like each question, some timer is there, sorry, each section, 15 questions, 25 minutes, like the section wise timer is there. But last year, they given for the entire exam two hours. You can send, uh, save some time in first section, use it in second section, like that. Advantage is there. Now you have advantage. Previously, there is a problem, like let's say section three, 20 questions, only 20 minutes. Neck to neck, uh, time is less, and we have to perform those 20 questions in 20 minutes, like that. But last year, they given like, okay, 120 minutes, two hours entire for all these seven sections. You can use, okay, time here and there. Advantage, one more advantage last year is, you can move from one section to other section. Couple of years before, there is nothing like reasoning. First question complete, then only second question. Second complete, then only third. You cannot go for other section. One question at a time, one complete, then second one. Second complete, third one like that. But last year they changed this. As per last year, I'm talking. Maybe this year they go to the previous thing. I don't know. As of now, okay. As per the last year scenario, you can navigate from one section to other section. Move. Let's say you can go for directly section six or section three. It's your wish. Okay. And the entire time duration is two hours. Right. And yeah, quant. But in exam, instead of quant, maybe when they share you the test pattern officially from the company also. They'll put this as a technical ability. You can see maybe when you people Google uh, here and there and check regarding test pattern, you may find technical ability is the second section name. But they're asking quantum reasoning only. When you see technical ability, we'll expect C questions or Java, something like, but they're not asking anything. They're asking quantum reasoning only, but the section name is given as technical ability. From past three, four years, same thing is there. Section name is different, but content they're asking quantum reasoning. Right. Section 3, verbal, verbal ability, okay. Section 4, pseudo codes, 5 questions, 10 marks. Okay, don't think like each question is 2 marks like that. Among that 5 questions, 1 question may be 1 mark, 1 question may be 3 marks, 1 question may be 2 mark. But overall, 10 marks will be there. It's not like, okay, uh, every question 2, 2 marks like that, no. They are, they are giving the weightage for every question. And one more very much alert you need to follow is MSQ questions. Multiple correct answers also they further they are giving an indication. Choose two correct options among the below. So far, if people are uh, maybe adapted for only one correct answer like that. But here in the infosys, you have fill in the blanks. Fill in the blanks also they another one MSQ multiple correct answers. Multi select questions we call as per gate. Here multiple correct answers. Two or three options are how can I know? They give square box. For remaining, they'll give circle. It is MCQ, it's like a circle. Maybe people have experience regarding NPTEL exam. In NPTEL, I think you people already aware of, if it is the MSQ question, it will be like a square box they'll mention. If it is MCQ, only one correct answer is there. It's like a circle where we have to go. So MC, MSQ, and they'll mention how many options correct also. Choose two correct options among, choose three correct options. Sir, if it is three correct options, I selected two, partial marking, nothing, zero. Don't think like, okay, I selected two out of three. They said three, I selected only two, zero marks. Okay, because they'll write a program to evaluate, they'll write the program. It's not like partial marking. Right? You fix it like when you, there are three correct options, all three match, and then only you'll get the marks. So, problem with MSQ questions, fill the blanks as well. And yeah, next, numerical fuzzle test, or fuzzle test we have. It's like they'll give a numbers in some diagram format, some logic. They may give 3, 4, 5. 3 square plus 4 square equal to 5 square. 12, 5, 13. 12 square plus 5 square equal to 13 square. Then they'll mention 24, 7 blank. 24 square plus 7 square will be equal to 25 square. There's some logic with numbers. They'll give some diagram format. It may be a table, 3 rows, 3 columns, or 3 rows, 4 columns. Any shape of diagram will be given. You have to play with the numbers they give. Some logic will be there. Maybe multiplication of those two. Or A square plus B square logic. Or A into B. Or A square minus B square. Some logic you need to play and you will get the result. 
like that they will give two diagrams to analyze your logic in third diagram you have to answer so that's all regarding numbers you need to play the game next english grammar test okay here they are giving fill the blanks more of fill the blanks related questions and uh, difficult antonyms and synonyms are given especially english grammar test only five questions are there in this english grammar test most of the questions are antonyms synonyms so you need to work on a difficult see very very difficult which section is very difficult sir these two sections only section 3 and section 6 is going to decide your job or written test remaining sections okay as you people have certain knowledge already in quantum reasoning if people can clear max to max pseudo codes also not that too much difficult but verbal and english grammar test is going to decide the difficulty level range of infosys regarding verbal will be like grn cat level verbal grn cat level you need to prepare i'm telling you now itself maybe at the on the day of exam when i ask you feedback evening you people will say verbal is very difficult sir you, this comment is common every year same comment from every, all students verbal is difficult sir verbal is difficult sir yes i am telling you now itself you prepare in that that level gr or cat level next level difficulty will be there. so you need to prepare section 3 and section 6 so what about english written test sir one question marks are not given sir yes because the test they are not evaluating during your written test during test they are not checking that but they want to see that suppose when you let us assume the people are shortlisted for written test cleared you are cleared the written test they don't check the section 7 during test clearance first six sections only they will check your marks and they will decide then what about this english written test is they by the time you people enter into the interview cabin meanwhile this panel member they will see go through your essay okay regarding this title what you written whether it is grammatically correct or not you have basic english or not basic knowledge or not, they will evaluate your English with that essay. That is checked by interview persons only, not in written test. Right, so that's why NA no marks. Okay, not up, marks are not applicable. No marks, but you have around 10 minutes. Okay, so regarding the topic, what are they given randomly? You need to type regarding that. You have to type. Right, so they maybe they don't evaluate in the written test. They will check that in the interview, whether the people convey things better or not. So that's very important update regarding the written test, English essay writing in fact nothing but. Now previously what happened now like uh, uh, 3.6 LPA, the role which you people are right now we are discussing is 3.6 LPA, system engineer role and the Infosys there are some other roles like business specialist engineer 6.25, specialist programmer 9.5 LPA, couple of years before System engineer role, everybody can apply and you can attend the test, fine. And for this, these two together, one exam they will conduct. Previously, three questions, three hours, three programs, three hours like that. One exam will be conducted, depends on that. They will conduct the one more interview and they decided the roles for a specialist program, additional specialist, where you got 6.25, 9.5. Previously, students who attempted system engineer can also attempt that above two roles. And you may decide, but now what they are doing from last year onwards, the students who are selected, I repeat, the students who are selected for SC role, if you got job in system engineering Infosys, those students only are getting the opportunity to upgrade their offer. Not for everybody. If suppose that I not clear the system engineering test, I not get job in Infosys system engineering, you don't have a chance to apply for above. You don't get opportunity to enter into above. You may think that package is 3.6 only, why we need to prepare this much? You have a chance for 6 and 9.5. Those who are selected in Infosys, those students only will get the test link. Okay, probably in some Sunday they will conduct three programs, three hours. Depends on your performance in that exam and again followed by interview. Your offer may be upgraded. Sir, I not performed in that exam. No worry, this 3.6 will be there. This job is already confirmed, this job will be there. If you perform well in that exam and in that interview, upcoming interview, you may upgrade or else this current job, which is 3.6 will be old. That is there. That is no problem. So that's what you need to work aiming for that 9.5, 6.25 also. The window is only this one. 
okay so you just think about this right and sir what are the topics okay fine we are ready to learn and prepare so for reasoning and quant what topics to be prepared and essay writing previously what topics they asked i just want to mention here here yeah, the topics to be focused regarding reasoning is this reasoning and quant both and uh, very importantly you keep in mind uh, they may don't fix that first section only reasoning second section only quant even the title is reasoning they ask some quant questions in that even title is quant they are asking some reasoning questions in that so first two sections you fix for quant and reasoning okay some uh, here and there they are changing things also the topics you need to learn at earliest is mathematical operations blend relation concept series seating arrangements coding and decoding syllogism concept pie charts data interpretation okay not only pie chart any type of diagram in data interpretation need to learn foundation combination probability percentages profit and loss averages ages script arithmetic okay actually past couple of years they not ask before that it is very 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 important topic we'll discuss certain things in safe side last year also they didn't ask the question from script arithmetic but learning is better in safe so next they are asking ranking concept data sufficiency statements and conclusions assumptions arguments all these different topics you people need to focus topics to be focused this is only related to quant and reasoning and section wise cut off i just not mentioned previously so please keep in mind one thing navigation alone you can move from one section to other section one question to other question all those fine navigation alone but cut off and overall time duration 2 hours okay time duration we can distribute that 2 hours to any others any sections depends on the difficulty level this is as per last year and third one very important section wise cut off section wise cut off this is where that sixth section grammar test is very very important section wise cut off why that sixth section is we have how many questions in that sixth section five questions only if three questions are wrong if you correct it on two only correct you will eliminate minimum three questions must be correct generally 60% generally section wise cut off is 60% five questions means three should be correct 10 questions means six must be correct time duration all okay but section wise you need to minimum achieve 60% and above 60% and above section wise cut off must be carefully taken care so 60% and above section wise right so regarding quantum reasoning certain topics is given now regarding essay topic for last year what topics are given i already mentioned this essay they are not evaluating initially so these topics are given last year the most memorable meal that you have had at someone's home maybe your relative home or friend's home so the most memorable meal regarding that you need to type the essay are about regional clothing in india next can you think of any female films that successfully achieved a balance between enjoyment and being informative so regarding that and recently they asked regarding art a impact a impact in job market also in society and job market a impact on society and job regarding cloud computing also they asked so cloud company means we'll take the flight we'll go to the clouds use the computer is it cloud computing so fine so cloud computing related 
right and yeah i when maybe i'm searching regarding these topics i got one link from infosys i just uh, find it out and there they mentioned infosys knowledge institute officially in that website itself they given regarding cloud computing ai related and uh, cloud security related maybe we can expect these topics this is not my website infosys itself they have one website with knowledge institute they given certain topics in fact that is some common thing somewhere for few people they ask related to ai as well they already given some information regarding ai in a infosys website itself they are asking regarding cloud computing they already given certain information regarding cloud computing okay cloud related artificial intelligence you can just use that website certain details in that if there is any, any new topic here this is what trending topics there it's uh, infosys is that they given their website there is a high chances they can ask questions from you, right so you can go through those topics given in that infosys website itself right so that link will be shared so this is all regarding that test pattern and what to be focused uh, regarding the re uh, verbal reading comprehension error correction error detection identification the yeah, verbal sir regarding verbal what topics to be focused that section 3 okay you can find 20 questions that questions are from critical reasoning critical reasoning means that statements and arguments critical reasoning means i don't have idea sir statements and assumptions statements and conclusions statements and arguments these topics they are asking in assumption statements and assumptions statements and arguments statements and conclusions this is critical reasoning topics in infosys they are asking this under verbal okay english correct usage correct english error correction identification reading comprehension this is what the breakdown of the 20 questions in verbal 20 questions are from this area need to focus on this in grammar test sir in grammar test i already mentioned antonyms and synonyms fill the blanks with right words so this is what you can expect related to verbal as well as english grammar we already discussed regarding essay writing certain topics which is given previously right so this is regarding test pattern and topics to be focused 